Yo guys, what is going on and welcome back to another episode of the FM Reboot. It's episode number 11 and today we're returning with games number 2 and 3 in the Premier League as we face Liverpool at home and Manchester City away on the back of our 3-2 loss to Spurs on the opening day. And of course, we've nothing to show you off camera, uh, just a recap of the last episode where of course you would have seen the brilliant fight back from 2-0 down in North London only to throw it away in stoppage time. Oh, how often that has been a feeling for us in FM21. It's just such a familiar feeling man I'm used to it now but uh, yeah two very tough games to come in what was a very tough start to the season uh, one thing you would have noticed on the home page and I'll show you it in the club vision as well is interestingly enough my manager rating despite the loss to Spurs has jumped up from E to D now I don't know whether this is because right now we're doing a really good job with the finances here at Wolves our bank balance remains very very healthily indeed at 23 and 3 quarter our bank balance remains very healthily it remains very healthy at 23 and 3 quarter million right now said before the finance is very important to me in FM. Uh, whether because we are apparently playing entertaining football, I don't know. And of course, as we know, the boy expectations have been lowered from last season just to finish in the top half. And we are growing, uh, growing the club's reputation pretty well too. Plus, we've got great managerial support as well. Maybe that's why the board aren't as critical and scrutinising me too much to start the season off. I don't know why, but lose our first three games in the Premier League. And I'll certainly be feeling the pressure. And after our defence against Spurs in the opening day, yeah, I've signed Eric Abidal. Lace him up, Eric. Get back on the pitch, son, because I definitely need you. <laughs> He's coming as a scout. Great scout in FM, by the way. Got some really, really decent stats. Anyway, um, yeah, first game is indeed Liverpool uh, at home. Uh, of course, won the title in the game last season. So, um, yeah, don't really fancy our chances here. But this will be our team. 4 2 3 on control possession. Still haven't changed our tactics yet, although I might be forced to very quickly. And on the injury report, still the same two players down, Samedo and Jimenez, not yet ready, uh, ready to come back and play in our first team. So Patricia's the goal, but for his like Nuri, Bolly stepping in for Chris, who had such a tough debut. Connor Cody and Connor Robson never forced through the middle. Trey on the left, Nato on the right, and Mutina's point Fabio Silva up top. On the bench, Bettinelli, Chris, Vinegray, War Prowse, Gibbs White Drink out, and Catrone as well. First of two. The pressure is on already, man. Liverpool, the champions at Molyneux. Come on, Wolves. To this day, the fact I survived season one is uh, something I'm <laughs> quite proud of. I think the FA Cup final appearance was mainly the reason why we did that. Um, had we not got to the FA Cup final, as uh, Mane rifles in the first nine minutes in, I think I definitely would have got the sack. I think the FA Cup was the, the saving grace of last season. What's going to be the saving grace of this season? I don't know. We're 1-0 down inside the first 10 minutes. Salah's free kick whipped in, and Mane, back stick, free half volley, 1-0. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Like I think, again, the board will be patient enough with me to start the season off, but I think if we're, if we're really struggling in October time, if we're still here in October time, I think that will be the end of me, to be honest. It would be such a shame as well because I've never been sacked in an FM save for YouTube. It would be my first ever one. I mean, it was going to happen at some point, right? You guys have seen me struggle so often in so many saves. At some point, my luck was going to run out. This might well be the save where, unfortunately, just don't get the good fortune and I'm exposed and I'm definitely paying the price for it. James Milner, crossfields, but it's won back by Traore. And once this guy gets going, as we know, no one stops him. But the save was very easy. Poor finish. There's been so many saves where I thought for sure I was probably going to get the sack. Um, but this one. Yes! Well, is that offside? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> How many goals have we had disallowed through VAR in this series? In one season and two games. Cross in by Morton Forsby. Wicked ball for the Norwegian, to be fair. And let's be honest here, that is a clear offside. It did look offside, to be fair, in real time. And the VAR confirms. Well, you can't complain. You can't complain. Definitely offside. It is true, though. Like, the amount of VAR decisions that have gone against us in this save is absolutely crazy. Unbelievable. There's another one there. But again, it was the right course. We can't complain. So half time, down by a goal. I haven't played especially bad or so. It seems not getting dominated. So still in this. Being unlucky so far. Being unlucky. This is the reason why I think the dynamic screen right now is mostly positive for me. Because again, I don't go harsh on players at all. I think Nuri is injured. It's going to take him off here for Ruben Vinegre. And we'll keep things as they are in a second half. Again, we're not, we're not getting dominated. And we do stand up to the big teams. We had a couple of scalps last season as well. We do stand up to the big teams. But sometimes you just need a little bit of luck. And that's something we're just not getting in this save thus far. As Salah beats his man and Vinalda makes it too. Game over. 
it's over. <laughs> I mean, the body language is decent. They're motivated and inspired. But it's not counting for much at the moment. 27 minutes to go. And if Liverpool do start to run rampant, as you know they're capable of doing, as Roberto Firmino makes it free. Yeah, my manager rating was a D. It's going to drop back down to an E very quickly at this rate. Sacked in the morning. You're getting sacked in the morning. Sacked in the morning. You're getting sacked in the morning. You know when the away fans start singing it two games into a season in your backyard? It's got to sting that. It's got to sting, Doxy boy. Hold back the tears. Hold back the tears. Wait until, you're, wait until you're home before you start to let those emotions come out. Don't let the players or the fans see it, mate. <laughs> NATO is beaten by Wijnaldum and Liverpool. Can we get a saving grace? Just something positive, please. Never. Yeah, it's great ball. Silver's on side there as well. Off the crossbar. Disallow going out of the woodwork, Radham. The odds are shortening by the day on me being the first manager to get sacked in the Premier League. By the day, they are shortening. Surely I'm gone at some point as Mane makes it four. Fuck me. You know what I said about this wall save and the reason why I wanted to do this team is because it was going to be a challenge right from the get-go. Right from the very first season. Right from the very first game. And I wanted this challenge. I wanted this pressure. What, what was I thinking, man? Seriously, I can't handle this. I'm so bad at this game. Booze ringing around Molyneux right now. I've demotivated my boys by being too lenient on them as well. Oh, that was my saving grace as well. The fact my uh, my dynamics and the board had my... Uh, the, the, the team had my back. Oh, God. Traore's just bruises. That's not too bad. Oh, God. Here we go. Here we go. After two games. Two games. This could be the end. The board told a meeting with you regarding your position at the club. Your performance hasn't been good enough and your position is under serious threat. Failure to attend a meeting will result in the board terminating your contract with the club. Well, of course, I'm going to try and talk my way out of it once again. But that 4-0 loss, I knew a big defeat like that early on to the season would definitely put me under a lot of pressure. So I'm going to say it to the boys here. Oh, this is, this is really interesting. So many things to say. Right, so I've got it down to three. I got it down to three, so I've got, we've had a difficult run of games recently, therefore I feel we should afford me more time to put things right. Or, we've got, I think this is a bit of a knee-jerk reaction, there's still a lot of football left and I'm confident everything will work out fine. <laughs> I'm not sure the board are confident of that. Or, I'll hold my hands up and admit that we've not been great, but if you grant me one more month in charge, I promise things will look a lot better. So at the end of a month, if we're still struggling, I'll be gone. If we're not in the top ten, I'll probably be gone. But we have had a difficult run of games recently. And it is a bit of a knee-jerk reaction. I don't want to make a promise because I don't want to be able to stick to it. So I'm going to say we have had a difficult run of games. Two very tough games to start off with. Oh, fuck's sake, I'm gone. We're getting tired of your excuses. You really need to convince us why you should keep your job. Um, I'm not going to get on my hands and knees and peg. Not again. Um, okay, all right. Tell me what I need to do to save my job. We'll give you some more time. We expect to see you pick up eight points in the next five games. That's more than doable. A couple of wins and a couple of draws or three wins in five. I mean, we have got Chelsea and Man City, to be fair, in those five games. Do I say set the points target a bit lower? The fact I can't even feel confident enough of getting eight points in five games is a lot about my self-belief. Do you know what? Fuck it. I can do that. I can do that. I'm going to say to the board, I can do that. Eight points in five games to keep my job. I don't see it happening, but it's possible. Our next five Premier League games. Man City away. <laughs> Great. Uh, Crystal Palace away, where we lost last season at Selhurst Park on the opening day. Chelsea at home. West Ham at home. And Norwich at home. Now, theoretically, three of those five games are definitely winnable. I don't see us picking up points against uh, City and Chelsea, but the other three, yeah, I mean, we probably will need to win all three, but it's it's doable. Arsenal want Bolly, but I'm going to reject that bid there. It's a big one, uh, and Bolly does want to leave off. It's one thing after another here. Rui, talk him round, son. Talk him round, please, for me. Oh, God. God, it's all falling apart. We're two games into the season, and it's all falling apart. Can't lose Willie because he's he's really decent. Um, he's really decent. I'll let you go at the end of next season. He's oh, 
No, I'm sorry, I can't. I can't, Willie. I'm, I need you, bro. I need you. Bolly is just far too influential a player in the dressing room to be upsetting right now. <laughs> I mean, it's already a very precarious position for me. I really shouldn't be angry one of my most influential players. Is he a team leader? I think he is, actually. Uh, no, he's not. He is highly influential. Um, <laughs> I couldn't be doing this save worse, could I? Right, let's do it. Create a new tactic. Gigan Press. Gigan Press is the go to in FM. Gigan Press is the one. Right, here we go. Match day three. And the first of the five fixtures where I need eight points to save my job. Yesterday morning, this article Sack looms over JC with Man City up next. Football Whispers are declaring that a bad result against Man City in a fourth coming Premier Division match could seal his fate. I think bookies are now suspending odds on me being the first manager to be sacked. So, yep, heading into the game. If we could somehow claim a point out of nowhere in this game, you know I'll celebrate that we just won the FA Cup. Uh, heading into the game, we will go with the Gigan Press. And it is a preset. I do use the presets. I, if you're a serious FM player, you take the game seriously, you might not like the presets. But again, I'm just here to have fun. Um, we are going to change one thing in the preset, though, and that is go from counter press to regroup. Just because, as I said before, counter press and FM to me has always been detrimental. Uh, so I'd much prefer to regroup and get back in position. Um, and this is it. So very high energy. Very high pressing and very high defensive line type of formation and tactics. This is our team with Patricio in goal. Back for is like Nuri, Cody, Chris coming back in alongside Connor Roberts. Neves, Warprouse and Moutinho are going to be our midfield trio. James, high energy. Jal, very creative and Neves sitting deep. A trailer in drink out the inside forwards. And Fabio Silva will be our pressing forward today. On the bench, Bettinelli, Bolly, Vinegre, Forsby, Gibbs, White, Nato and Cutrone as well. God, what I'd do for some aid on him and his back right now. Second game of the episode, third of the season and possibly my last. First of five to save my job. Come on, Wolves. There is a highlight one minute and 22 seconds into the game. <laughs> Odds on me getting sacked at halftime. You know, honestly, even though the board have given me uh, five games to save the job and pick up eight points and that apparently would be good enough. I think I think if we get like a heavy defeat here, when I say heavy, I mean literally like four or five nil plus, then that will be the end of me and they won't even give me the five games because that, that would just be too embarrassing. Lose on the opening day and then two big defeats in a row. Zero points from nine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the board just pulled the trigger at full time. To be fair, as Grealish, the former Villa man, has his cross block, comes straight back to him, back to KDB. And now Foden on the edge and that is just brilliant. That's, you just got to tip your hat sometimes. That's glorious team football. So down to 19th as things stand. I mean, the fixture list to start the season off. Come on, it's tough. It's tough. <laughs> but I'm running out of excuses. <laughs> I've basically run out of time. Free kick, flow to the back stick. Ruben Diaz flicks down the Bruyne off the woodwork. And I nearly clears. Just like against Liverpool, we're not exactly getting dominated in the first half. So as long as we keep ourselves in the game for as long as possible, there's always that chance we might get a little bit of good fortune or a moment of magic of someone. The longer we keep it at 1-0, the more confident I'll feel there might possibly be a chance. You know, I can motivate my players pretty well for the most part. I'm, I'm good at talking to the boys. It's not counting for much, but it is something. The, bo the boys do seem to like me for the most part. The players do seem to like me quite a bit. I don't think they want me to go. I don't think the players want me to get sacked. I think Morton in particular would be absolutely devastated. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Nineteen million on Big Chris for the Howler against Spurs. Twenty million on JWP, and he gets a red card in his first start for a club. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I tell you what, this is just a stuff of nightmares. This is, it really, really is. Well, to be fair, I mean, 24 minutes to go. We're playing the second half with 10 men and we're still only down by one. I mean, it's only a matter of time before City wrap the game up. But even so, the, the fact we're not getting absolutely annihilated means that I don't think the board will pull the trigger at full time. If we were to lose this game like 4-5-0, and I know I'm tempting fate saying that with 23 seconds on the clock, but as Greenwich does make it too right on cue... But if we can keep this scoreline respectable, I think they'll give me those five games. It was that choke towards the end of last season that totally messed us up. I think, you know, again, I mentioned it, even though Europa Conference League wasn't what the board wanted, 
I, I think is, oh, what a save, Patricio. I think if we would have had Europa Conference League football, that would have been good enough for the board to say, Do you know what, fair enough, we won't even have a talk with you come the end of the season. We'll let next season play out. But it's the fact on the final day against Brighton, we bottled it right at the end and threw away those three points. I think that was like the beginning of the end for me, if you will, as Fran Torres plays a 1-2 at the bar and turns in City's third. I tempted fate, and that was a bad thing to do. <laughs> What do you think, guys? Are these my final three minutes as Wolves manager? Or will I be given those extra four games to save my job? Three to the final score, three straight losses, three straight games where we conceded three or more goals. And I keep demotivating the boys at full time. <laughs> Writing's on the wall right now. Writing is on the wall. Well, it does seem for now... I'm definitely not going to appeal against that ban. It does seem for now that I'm still here. Points target earned. Zero. <laughs> um, it's looking rather unlikely that you'll be able to reach your points target if you need eight more points from your remaining four matches. Stop reminding me. I know I shouldn't have made this promise, man. Oh, God. All right. Do you know what? We might as well just keep on going. We'll come back in the very next episode. We'll obviously miss the Port Vale games. It counts for nothing now. We'll come back in the very next episode with Crystal Palace and Chelsea. Games two and three of the five required to save my job where eight points is the target. Zero so far, not off to a great start. Have a great day, guys. Thank you for watching. Much love to you all, and I'll see you for the next episode, which might possibly well be the penultimate one of me in charge of Wolves. Have a great day, much love, and I'll see you for the next episode very soon.